Oh my god! He is on fire! Oh, oh no! Oh my god, but I set my customer on fire! Oh, someone call the fire brigade. He, I think he's, I, is he going up to the snowy mountains to roll around in it? How's it going, everybody? My name is Hypercore Ripper, and today we are back playing My Little Blacksmith Shop. So this game has received a pretty big update, and aesthetically, most of it has changed. So our little blacksmith shop slash house, as you can see, is a little bit smaller. It's no longer on two floors. Our bed is now here. The workbench is there. And out here, we've got the furnace, we've got the anvil, and we've got the cooling bucket of water, which we will need to use from now on. That is right. And here is the order area. And there is also this thing here. It's a parts radial selection. So you hold down Z and then you select what you would like to make before you put the ingots on the anvil to bang them all together. I've been personally doing it before I even put them on the furnace just, to, just for safe measure, but we'll test it out today and see if uh, we can do it in between. And I believe now we can also make shields. I think that is now a thing. Oh, and this has changed the menu. And we've now got sandbox mode, which we will take a little look at in a moment. I'm just going to show you a couple more things. This is the outside world now. It is huge and it is beautiful. There's a house over there. We're going to go and check it out in a while. But over here... We can go into this little clearing, which is very misty. And in the previous update, you'll remember there was a stationary giant at the back here. No one really knew what he did or who he is or why he was there. And uh, now, now, Mr. Giant is right over somewhere. Is that him there? Is that him there? Yes, yes, yes. There he is. Look at him. He's so big and beautiful, and he's, he's just walking into... He's walking into a tree. Are you scratching yourself? Have you got an itch? Do you want me to scratch the itch? Can I push... Whoa! <laughs> I can push you! Dude, I'm a hella strong... I mean, blacksmiths are strong as they... You know, they, that's a known thing, but I'm a... I'm a superhuman blacksmith! Okay, so we're out of the misty area, and this is just our lovely little town. Isn't it adorable? But I'm going to go back this way because, because Mr. Giant, initially when I loaded this up, he was walking this way towards the thing, which is over here, which I now cannot see. It is effectively, it's a giant pole arm and a shield. And the shield is actually covering one of the crystals that we still don't know what they do. Aha, here it is. Here it is. So yeah, there is a crystal under there. This... I'm assuming is the giant's weapon. It's freaking beautiful. It looks amazing. Whatever it's made out of, it's very pretty. I'm guessing maybe maybe titanium. I don't know. This is an unknown crystal. Oh, no, it's light crystal protection. What? What, 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 what? Light crystal protection. So, protect from what? I do not know. Do we... Do we give it to the giant? Do we attach it to a, a weapon? Who knows? Hi there, good morning. What a, what a lovely morning it is. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. It is going to be lovely in whatever this town is called. It's, it's going to be called Towny Town. Okay, Towny Town. Oh, not... Okay. Okay, so this... This is apparently... I completely forgot about this. This is going to be something in a future update. I don't think... We can do it for now, unless any of these other houses are for sale. Not sure. But, in a future update, we are going to be able to purchase houses. For example, that one there. That looks relatively similar to our old blacksmith shop. And, yeah, we can turn, we can buy houses, turn them into our blacksmith shop, and sell from there. But for now, we're just going to have to stick with silly swords and sexy shields. Don't know how to make shields yet. If that is a thing, it... I believe it is, because if you go into sandbox mode, which I'm going to show you right now very quickly, you can... Wow! That is nice! That's a heated copper large blade. That's very nice. So, what you've got to do now, you've got to dunk it in the water, and then... And then, and then, then... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then you can put together... Can you get on there? Thank you. And then you go on there. Oh my god! That looks so cool! <laughs> I love that. So that's a new variation of greatsword. What in the world? Fire! Uh, uh, heated... Why is all, why is there all this stuff everywhere? 
It's just all these random things. So sandbox mode, you can just mess around and have a bunch of fun with it. You can order an unlimited amount of things. And the main thing is, you can come over here. What does this say? What does it say? Yes, this is a mining test field. So you, these are all of the different materials that you can get in the game. I'm going to try out where is, is it just tin and copper? Is that all we can get? Is just tin and copper? Iron? What about that over there? You're just more copper and you are... Titanium! Oh, yes! Oh! We have not tried out titanium yet. We're sort of spoiling it for ourselves, but who cares? I want to... Whoop! What? No, no, no! No, 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 no! I, I didn't want to do that! Oh, no! No, because the cool thing is, once you've, you've sort of chipped it away a little bit, you can... There you go. You can take a little crack of it, and then... You can go back over to your furnace, and you can smelt it down into an ingot. Go on. Go on. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. You... Why don't you smelt... Why don't you... Come on. Just go ping. Turn into an ingot. I have seen this happen. I'm not lying. <laughs> I promise you. I have seen it with my eyes. Does it say around here anything? No. That is very, very peculiar. Do I need to, to whack you? Would that do- that's not gonna do a thing. Okay, so we are now back in the shop, and what I'm doing at the moment is I am putting my points into other skills. So, all along, I've been going for Charisma, which just increases the sale price, which is a very nice thing to do. We get loads of money now for every sale, but as this game has progressed, as it progresses, the, uh, the, the customer waiting time gets lower and lower and lower. So I think at the moment I'm floating at around 50 or 60 seconds per order, which is getting incredibly difficult. So we need to go for strength, I think. Decreases hits on Anvil every five... I can't see what that says. Every five levels of something, something. All right, well... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two, um, yeah, put two more in there. We've got one to put in charisma, agility. This person moves around fast enough already, and we're in this tiny space now, so we don't really need to worry about that. And what I'm also going to do, what I'm also going to do, is I'm going to stock up on a load of stuff. So all I've got to do then is I've got to worry about which ingots we can afford when the customer comes in. It is time we open up our shop, and what in what what huh? <laughs> Where did you come from? Did you come from the sandbox? Back to the normal world? You did! Oh my god, what a generous donation. Thank you very much. Okay, so, there we go. We've already got a great sword at the ready. An iron great sword at that, which will fetch us quite a bit of money. I'm going to, uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to put you together right now, my friend. So, two-handed guard, you go there. And then the one, uh, sorry, the two-handed grip, you go there. There we go. That is perfect. Alrighty, so that is ready for anybody who comes in here wanting a greatsword. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Do you want a great please say you want a great sword, please? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, that is how we do it about three thousand? Three thousand? How much money did we just get for that? That is insane. We just got a flipping ton of money for that. But I mean that's because we didn't have to pay for it. We only had to pay for the grip and the guards, so we saved ourselves a load of money there. And now I'm starting to think, to save even more... Can I, um... To save even more time, I could start putting these... To yeah! Ah, that's what I'm gonna do. That is absolutely what I'm gonna do. And there is somebody coming. What do you want? What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you buying? You're buying a one-handed hammer right now. Okay, a one-handed hammer you shall have. We are gonna make a titanium one handed hammer this thing is going to look absolutely beautiful and this is actually my first ever titanium weapon you you guys are sharing this with me this special little moment so a one handed hammer that's going to need a one handed grip we don't need a one handed guard on it because that would be stupid as hell <laughs> which i have done previously so we won't talk about that now we just need you to eh, and a little bit more oh a little bit more Keep it. No! Oh, I forgot. Oh, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. I forgot about. No. Oh, dear. Oh, freaking dear. Okay, so what do I do now? I completely forgot about this. I don't know what I think about the radial system. I personally, I would, I much preferred the old one. Uh, is this going to even work? He's going to go. He's gone. Sh oh, <laughs> 
Okay, let's not get really freaking angry. Let's see if this will... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I... I, I... <laughs> I'm not, I'm, that's not going to work for me. I'm never going to be able to remember to keep on having to go back to this radial and change it. Please, so you want a one-handed blade, please. Uh, I, can't, I can't do a great hammer. I can't do anything right now. That looks amazing. Would you look at, will you accept this? Please. This is the most badass thing I have ever seen. Why would you, why would you want a hammer when you can have a flaming, heated, <laughs> titanium blade seriously look how sexy that is do you want me to cool it down for you would would that be is that your preference then i oh i'm gonna stab you oh <laughs> you get out of here you damn kids so i'm really uh stumped at the moment as to what to do i've got this sword i haven't got enough money for anything else have i even got enough money for copper uh yes i do actually but i really 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 don't want to have to do that i, I can't believe i did that I completely forgot about that freaking radial system. Well, I uh, I think it's time we uh, we write this day off and we go to bed. So the uh, the little blacksmith shop is closed for today. I am going to rest my weary head, <laughs> rest my weary and incredibly embarrassed head, and let's just clean up this horrible mess in here. So I am literally just going to have to wait around until someone comes in and requests a one-handed sword because it's, it's just, it doesn't seem to be worth it to, to make anything else at the moment. Not even the copper stuff. We're just going to get barely anything for it. A pole arm! A pole arm? You want a pole arm, you say? I wonder, actually, could I attach... Nah, we could... Surely we couldn't attach that to a pole arm. The pole arm requires the little stuff. Okay, so what I've done, I've quickly restarted the game. We've started again on day 13, I think it is. We've still got our flaming titanium sword. And I just wanted to see if this pole arm would fit on there. But, uh, wait, wait, what? It does fit on there. No way. Oh, and that looks really freaking nice as well. Okay, so let's just hope when I open the shop, is the same, is the same guy going to come back and ask for a pole arm? If he does, I'm going to be over the moon. I should probably go and uh, cool this thing off as well. Let's just get you, get, dun dunk it, dunk it in the water. Get a dunk it. Oh, you're not going to dunk it, are you? Is there, is there a, I bet there's a customer waiting. Hello? Don't go away, you're like me. Oh, no, there's no one there. Well, in that case, we may as well just take this thing apart, just in case they ask for something else. So, oh, please. <laughs> Why am I doing get off it? Just get off the thing. Get off the pole arm. Is there anybody here? Oh, hi, hi, hi. Oh, one-handed hammer. You would ask for a one-handed hammer, wouldn't you? You would, because you're awkward and you know that I haven't got enough money. <laughs> you annoying, annoying person. All right, well, do you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna try and I'm going to make you a really, really cheap, crappy one. How, how do you like them apples? Yeah, you, do you like those apples? And this time we're going to select the blunts and we're going to go boof and we're going to go cook, cook, cook. Fancy one-handed grip. You sit there and look pretty. I'm going to go here. This is... Oh, it's cool. Is it heated? Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. We're good to go. Good to go. Getting tongue-tied. Getting tongue-tied. Hit them. Hit them. Come on. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, go. You're going to have a flaming hammer. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh, wait. Yes. We did it. <laughs> She's got a... <laughs> She's got a flaming hammer attached to her belt. <laughs> Oh, man. So, do you think we lose money for that, for not calling down items when a customer comes and picks it up? I, I, uh, we might do. We might not. Who knows? Let's just have a look and see how much that fetched us. $25. Look at that. Look at our record there. Look at that. Look at that. Look, at look, look, look. $1,000. And then it goes down to $25. I don't want $25. I want $1,000. What do you want? You want a great hammer. Alrighty. Alrighty. You're going to get yourself a great hammer. It's it's going to be a crappy great hammer. But nevertheless, it's going to be... It'll be something. It'll be special. And a great hammer requires a lovely, fancy two-handed grip. Are these things done now? Yep. Heated ingot. You go there. If I have enough time this uh, round, I'm going to try and cool it down. And just see if it affects the amount of money we get. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. All right, Dunkarooski, 
You got dunked and 10 seconds left. It's all right. It's all good. Uh, Dene. What was your name? Dedene. Dedene. What is going on over there? Is that a fight going on? I think there was a fight. Oh, yes. Yeah. Come on. Look. Look. Can I interest you in this? Maybe I can interest you in it. Maybe I cannot. Look at it. I'll just place it right here. All right. That'll entice them in with their... Look at your purple hair. It's very funky. What do you need? I don't want to do a great hammer. But you're gonna make me, so we better give the customer what they want, so... And look at that. That now works perfectly. If you remember, it used to sort of shoot out the side when you put it on the furnace and hit the box, but uh, now it just sits there nicely and looks very, very pretty. On you go, fellas. On you go, little copper ingots. Come on, you're gonna make this man very, very happy. He's gonna be able to slay all of his enemies with this, crushing all kinds of skulls. And all we need now is a two-handed grip, but a bam! And I'll just throw it to you. Can you can you <laughs> collect your hammer off the floor, please? I'm not even going to show you what I just did. It was too embarrassing. I may I, <laughs> I forgot about the radial thing again. Someone came in asking for a blade, and I accidentally made a I made a boo boo. I made a big boo boo. However, what is interesting is that was only one ingot. The person wanted a dagger, and I was able to make a large hammerhead. So, not sure how that worked out, but we saved ourselves a load of money. And this person right here, he, he wants a sword. He wants a sword or a polearm. Do you want a sword or a polearm? You want it? You want it? <sighs> you want a dagger. You want to see me screw up again like I just did. <laughs> Alright, copper ingot, you're getting a the most basic bog standard piece of turd ever. Alrighty, so this thing has been heated. We're just going to whack it. Whack it a little bit more. A little bit harder. There we go. And I'm going to give it to you flaming this time. Alright, you're going to get a lovely flaming... Oh, there we go. <laughs> See, that looks amazing. Frang... 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 frang. <laughs> How cool does that look? Is... <laughs> Your clothes on fire? Look at him, he's still running around. <laughs> <laughs> he went that way. <laughs> oh my god! He is on fire! Oh no! Oh my god, but I set my customer on fire! Oh, someone called the fire brigade. He, I think he's... I, is he going up to the snowy mountains to roll around in it? He's still going. <laughs> that is... Oh, that's the funniest thing I've seen in this game so far. I, I don't think we've... Have we seen anything else that's been particularly funny? I don't think so. I think that's the best thing, though. Okay, so Nina wants a hammer. Oh, yes! Yes! Hey, there we go, Nina. Enjoy your lovely, horrible hammer. Okay, so we got a little bit of money there. That wasn't an, an entire waste. Now I really just need someone to come in and buy this lovely titanium sword. Hurry! Run! 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 Wait, are you the same guy? Oh, no! <laughs> He's the same one! <laughs> No! You stay away! No, 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 I can't shut the door! Oh, he's gonna punch me in the face for lighting him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes! Oh, I love you! I love you! I would kiss you if I could, but I'm, I I can't, okay? This is this is a blacksmithing shop. This is not a place for loving. Cal! Oh, you just got the sexiest polearm ever, and we just got so much money! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, we got rid of the cursed sword. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to save the game, and I am going to say goodbye. So, that is it for this episode of My Little Blacksmith Shop. I really hope you've all enjoyed it. I'll have another one for you very, very soon. But for now, that is it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.